concerns about how this data is being used in numerous ways, including used to shape your behavior, shape the way you think, shape the way you perceive the world, shape what you do, shape what you buy, shape who you are. And if you need just a just a toe, dip a toe into the waters of what that really means, you can take a look at the exceptionally creepy Selfish Ledger uh, video, the internal Google video that was leaked uh, about a year ago that reveals some very creepy ways that this data can be used against you, even if it's only within the castle walls of each of these fang monstrosities. And then the third thing that this misses is that, of course, fang, the fang companies, are wedded at the hip to the intelligence agencies that birthed them. And I've talked about this before on the podcast. I will continue to talk about it. But the deep state, whatever you want to call it, is Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is the deep state in so many different ways. The obvious and in-your-face ways, like InQtel, the investment arm of the CIA investing in uh, various tech upstarts, to the, the more insidious ways, the, the undisclosed and undisclosable uh, relationship that exists between Google and the NSA, for example. And I've talked about this before. Again, I'll talk about it in the future. But that is the real crux of this, is that the, the fundamental point I was making in data is the new oil, is that oil was a, not just a commodity flowing through the economy, it was a way of structuring society. We, we literally built the, the highways and the infrastructure of our society around this new uh, technology or the technologies that this commodity enabled, like the internal combustion engine, the car, etc., etc. Well, in the same way, our entire society is going to be shaped and ordered around the products that are derived from this new commodity. Well, maybe it's not a commodity, but whatever it is, this data that f is going to form the basis of the smart, interconnected, Internet of Things, 5G global enslavement grid. And that's the point of this. So, yeah, there may be some economic quibble about the analogy going on here, but that doesn't get to the fundamental point, which is a much deeper point. Once again, to get to that point, please go to my Data is the New Oil podcast, and hopefully you can get a better sense of what it is I really mean by that and why this Wired article does not exactly address that. <laughs> 